Hello, Galaxy of Heroes Rebel Roundup Assault Battle. Um, in actual fact, it is a slight ruse because I just feel that I need to to vent. Um, um, I don't know how you're all getting on, but um, to me, at least, uh, my saltiness at the moment is just about, what was it? Jedi Knight Revan hitting 90% of the meta. 90%. And I'm just, it, it occurred to me, um, I was a pondering, and during my ponder, uh, what occurred to me was <clears throat> how do the devs view that? I'm, I mean, in in so many ways, it's uh do I want to use that there no can we get rid of you almost did now yay um yeah I mean it, it it's an overwhelming success so why hasn't he still got taunt I know that he just got debuffed but I can see that Scarif, Bodhi, I have no ship, Pilot, Rook, and Pal have all got protection still. So why doesn't Bosk have his torn? He's double zetered. Unless it's only the top, that would make no sense whatsoever. That the tug it's only the target tune. I don't understand. Am I missing something with the mechanics on Bosk? I was under the impression, as I said, that his second Zeta is that he retains taunt. Why did he lose taunt? Anyway, that's stopping me from having my my what what dodge that one? Ooh, wow! Oh, that's a warm fuzzy feeling knowing that that can take place, isn't it? Don't bother getting back up, mate. I'm going to put you flat on your ass. Um, oh, let's do an ability block and zam for the bam. Oh, I'm not going to use the special now. Um, it's just uh, you've got a buff, so we'll do you first. Take a big bash out of you, actually. No, we'll get rid of you and then again that are yeah so um coming back to my moan and my moan focuses around 90 percent meta uh see the bit that i'm really concerned with is that he he as in jedi knight revan is one of our most recent additions uh most recent additions and um virtually unbeatable i mean we've got you can beat it with treya um if rng's with you possibly cls possibly Jedi Knight Ray, if you go out against something that's really under or badly geared or something, you could possibly even beat it with, um, oh, I should have saved that, with uh, scoundrels, not scoundrels, separatists. You know, uh, we're talking about the uh, 
yeah, that sh that shall not be mentioned, which is the um, uh, the grievous fiasco. And the fiasco there is the fact that uh, probably the most viewed Star Wars, I think, yeah, most viewed Star Wars Galaxy Hero YouTuber. I'm not going to name names. It doesn't seem right. Um, and in no way is this a criticism of that YouTuber. He was given, so ooh, giveaway there, he, yeah, that narrows it down to nearly all of them, um, was given footage by the devs and all the footage showed Grievous Squad's absolutely muttering uh, Revan. That's not the case. And they kind of said it wasn't the case um, with the, what was it? They said something about it would be a dick. I, I get it. It would be a dick move to release a counter just as such a large percentage of the player base would just unlocking him. Um, but it's that 90%. It's the... Uh, surely we need a yang to uh, to the ying. And so now is like... Are we just moving from one of these to another? Or will there be balance with Kevin? Is it Kevin? Is that what we're calling him? I believe it's Kevin. Kevin, a.k.a. Dark Revan. Darth Revan, even. Um, his faction is dark. I can say that. But uh, whether he is or not. Well, actually, I'm just, I don't know what I'm worth talking about now, do I? Not that I probably did from the f start. But, it, uh, yeah, 90% 90 90 of the meta just seems wrong. I don't know. I mean, uh, I'm just venting here um welcome uh, your your comments are welcome on this it, it just it makes me fearful i what i hope is that jedi knight revan is the last tune released into the game that takes or that dominates the meta as much as this one has. I mean, I'm hopeful that Darth Revan, I mean, the, the, the thing there, of course, is that we're just going from one Revan, Re, Revan, yeah, yeah, we'll rename, no, we won't rename him. So Kevin, we're going from <laughs> light side Kevin to dark side Kevin and I'm hoping that there's some interaction between the two Kevins that you can run either either so anyone because otherwise it it would alienate all the players that have just unlocked Darth no not Darth now you see now I'm getting uber confused I shouldn't be should I um for everyone that's just unlocked Jedi Knight Revan if Darth Revan kind of takes the same stance then all of a sudden those players are going to be well what do I do and you can't have that yeah, there's, there's got to be balance and I think that's my gripe here basically is that there just isn't Revan removes balance and I don't think that's a good thing that's kind of yeah where I wanted to go with that actually no I'm gonna there, there's an addition to that because what we're also now getting, of course, is a very similar scenario in ships. 
if you don't have Hans Millennium Falcon, you're going to maybe not struggle climbing. Um, there are counters to it, definitely counters to it. Um, we put you down. No, you can now, though, surely. Boom, 48k. Yeah, so ships, maybe I'm going to take it back. I am alarmed that, that it's... Uh, I don't know, is there the balance? that I think there is... Mm, I'm struggling, as you can no doubt tell here, whether or not I consider there to be balance in ships. I don't know why we've saved CLS to last. But we have. Let's lob out some lovely thermals. Um, let's get rid of this Wobot. Gone. And now we've just got CLS to do. See, CLS is a great character, I think. Balanced. There are counters to CLS. There are counters to Treya, there are counters to Sif, there are counters to... Yeah, that's my point here, is just the... Or maybe I'm missing it. I mean, it is Jedi and Sith that rule the galaxy as such. The Jedi's rule through not ruling and combating the Sith. But they are vulnerable themselves and uh the current meta that's not the case oh right okay uh who is i think pow is the weakest let's just uh have a crack with the big launcher I need somebody dead, you see. Hey, look at that. So we've got somebody dead. We've got the stealth going. And now we can just get this. Um, contract field. Contract. Field. Uh, let's just spread the love with the thermals. I do like this, Lee. I do like this comp. Um. It's a shame. Oh, um, it'd be nice to have another proper, or another proper, uh, a good old tank that's kind of Bosque level to enable us to run two good bounty hunter squads. But ideally, you want um, a taunting tank in your team. Uh, can we just, yes, you can always rely, well, you, oh, yeah, famous last words, always, uh, it is nice that Boba can one shot and they don't come back, so we need her shut down, Herbie and Sabine Wren. She's shut down. Let's get rid of Ezra. I'll just come back. Actually, that should do you. Stun. No, it will do more than stun you, apparently. Um, let's do the boost and then throw out some thermals. Oh, I like that. Uh, we'll be naughty and give the other two some additional thermals. Wow. Whoa. You go, Zam. I do like a bit of Zam. I need to, uh, when I get closer, I've got to kill a thousand Galactic Republic. Uh, I don't think she needs to be present, but the title card is hers. So that's, I think that's Bounty Hunter 5 of 7. Um, 
yeah, slowly get in there. He just annoys me, sorry. He's so tanky. Um, right, let's take some chunk out of you and then Zam's hit should prove very damaging. I oh, will get to the end of each sentence eventually. Oh, right, yeah. So, um, basically, uh, decided to use this as a mini platform just to get all salty about Jedi Knight Revan, 90% of the meta, um, enough. It is, it's, I mean, then it's, it, it's there's always going to be an aspect of mods, gear, probably the other way around actually, isn't it? Gear, mods, that we can field. But if you've got yings to yangs, sometimes having a superior mod doesn't actually impact as badly as you would think. I mean, I'm going to use ships as an example. I point blank refuse to slap a load of gear 12, uh, sorry, not gear 12, a load of 6E mods onto Bistan um, Admiral Akbar, to be honest. Uh, I just, and my ships, all right, I've got a very nice roster to choose from. Um, I don't know why we get to go first there. Unless it's just the fact that we've got additional speed. I don't know. But we do. I'm appreciative. Um, yeah, but ships is, is a good example that springs to mind immediately. That you don't have to have the best mods and the highest gear or whatever um, to win. Sometimes you need RNG on your side. Fair enough. I mean, that, they, that is an element of the game. We need RNG. Um, but you can win with what's perceived as a, a lesser team in that. Mm, you're going to struggle to do the same against the Jedi Knight Revan. Uh, whoa. Uh, of course, we're now on to a lower level. These are only level 87s, whereas the previous round they were 89s, I believe. See, I, I would like Bounty Hunters to be arena viable. I mean, it's, it would seem very apt for them to actually be in arena wouldn't it? Or, I don't know. Uh, maybe that's because I do remember when Boba Fett got his rework and I was using him. I don't think I was using many other bounty hunters. Maybe Dengar. I do recall seeing uh, going back away here, quite away, but uh, I I do remember seeing uh, one of my guildies running a similar squad to this. I think it was pre, it was way pre, it was way before Aura. But yeah, they have been in arena before now. It would be nice if they could return. I mean, there's a lot of them. <clears throat> Mind you, saying that, there are a lot of tunes. We've got, what was it, 180, no, 170 currently in game. And hopefully, see, I am actually, I'm not bashing Darth Revan whatsoever. I mean, Darth Revan to me is. The saviour as such, just to give us something other than Revan to run in arena. I don't know. 
yeah, it's very cyclic. Um, I, I think that I probably would. Yeah, in fact, I did. I know that I switched over very early. I switched away from the Darth Maul Revan. No. Wow. OK. Yeah, actually, that does does actually make sense. The yeah, when when Maul was the um, the meta and he was meta for quite some time. Um, uh, near the end, I think there was still a good month, month and a bit to go. I, I just, however much, I mean, he's my, what's it called? My avatar is Darth Maul. Love him. I think he's a very iconic character. Not in the movies very much, but, uh, still a, a very iconic Star Wars character and I'm sure that Darth Revan is as well I'm just not so up on the non-movie Star Wars which yeah I'm missing out I know um, let's just get rid um, put him down as well yay this is the quickie one actually you know what I'll just slap it onto auto let them whiz on through. I didn't even look at the rewards that are coming through. I'm just... It stems from... Um, for me, the, uh, the, the, the thing that really highlights is I can't rush my payout climb. Uh, I was late leaving work tonight. Um, I didn't have much time. And I groaned immediately because uh, with this current meta, uh, there are very few quick battles. I mean, I'm in, I'm in a uh, privileged position, I suppose, uh, that I'm competing for first on a daily basis. Uh, I have got a nice size roster, but I also have an auto count. The auto count is more fun at the moment because I'm fighting... Well, I'm not fighting Revan. I'm fighting all sorts of different comps, and it's beautiful. Maybe that's the trick. Take away the rewards and just do random drops, and so that you don't have to be first. The randomness, randomness of it is that it could be anywhere gets the top rewards. I don't know. How about that? That would shake stuff up. Actually, no, it just put people off of going into arena because we all want to be top dog, don't we? Yeah, okay. Um, that's it. I think I've sorted on long enough. Um, five bays and five Zeb. Garazeb Aurelios. I'm probably pronouncing that name wrong, aren't I? And I've got Cassie's U Wing and Ghost. That's it. Uh, I'll stop moaning. I'll thank you for watching. Rebel Roundup Assault Battle. Done.